Hey guys, this is the Bear Guy 88. Okay, welcome to Let's Play Advance Wars. This is episode 16. Our last episode, <laughs> I went on the best mission that I ever went. And when I joined the Orange Star Army, <laughs> I was doing destruction. Yeah, mega destruction. Haha. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, hey there, Dale. Hello there. Good morning, cadet. Ready for the next mission? Of course. All right then. Uh, naval units are the topic of this briefing. All right, let's do it then. You've got a tough new mi mission on your hands this time. Oh, right, come on now. There are two units that require aid, or they'll be destroyed. Oh, that's bad. One of these is a T-copter, which we've discussed before. The other is a lander. This is a naval unit you haven't seen yet. Hmm. Need to protect these units and secure the land on the, sh on the far shore. This is the mission that's been entrusted to you, Perry Guy. Of course, you can entrust any mission to me now. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any bombers and fires this time. You know. I figures. I, I should have known that. But I did arrange for some other units I think would be necessary for our, our success. Okay. I'll explain about these other naval units once we arrive. Okay. Time to get moving. Yeah, let's get moving. I'm ready. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> mission 11. Alright. Naval forces. Alright, we get to start using uh, naval uh, units. Yes. Protect your transport copter. Oh, okay. That, that, that's what... It's the command right there. It's it you said they're done, huh? Yeah, I was gonna say that. It looks like it's almost done for. These cruisers. This cru this cruiser is very effective against air units, and it's so close. If you leave the copter here, it'll be destroyed immediately. Hurry up and get it out of there. Can you select it? I sure can. All right. There you go. At first glance. It doesn't look like there's anywhere it could be pulled back to. But there is a way to save it. Oh, really? Move it here. Whoa, what's that? Uh, okay then. Load it! Oh, yeah, right. Load it! There you go. Now the transport copter can be effect attacked. That's right. You can put transport copters egg into cruisers. If you load it, it'll be safe as long as the cruiser isn't destroyed. You can also load biocopters into cruisers. Oh, that's cool. Cruisers can hold up to two units at one, at one time. And by loading units, you can resupply these units with fuel and ammunition. Okay, that's really helpful. You have a, you have a biocopter too. You should try it sometime. Okay, I will, maybe. Now let's test the power of the cruiser. Select it. Okay, there you go. Cruisers engage enemy units directly. You would be surprised by the kind of units they can attack. Uh, you okay to try me then? They can only fire on air units and subs. What? That sucks. Uh, as for right now, you know, uh, you could fire on this sub. Let's attack. Alright then, sure. Oh, I did not want to do that. Okay, there you go. Whoa, whoa, we're firing missiles at... Oh yeah, that submarine's not 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 there anymore. Oh, it blew up. <laughs> Cruisers are very effective against subs, and like I said here earlier, they're also effective against air units. Since they can only attack certain units, they are a bit limited. Once you learn these, it you get to see though, you'll be glad you have them. You can't say that word though. No, that's not important right now. Just listen. But learning that right off the bat. It's not easy. If you forget which units they can fire on, push the A R button. The ever helpful R button. Yeah, the ever helpful R button you keep nagging me about. I get it already. If you remember that, you'll always be able to get the intel you need. That took longer than, than, than I thought. Yeah, don't you know I'm under a time limit, you know? Well, let's move on to the next unit's capabilities. Oh, there's more. Oh, boy. Next is the battleship. Oh, what is that about? What about it? Can you select this unit, please? Yeah, okay. There you go. Battleships attacks from a distance, so don't move it. Just open the command window. Alright then. Now choose fire. Yes, I will. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's really long. Wow. Ho oh. ho. There you go. Did you notice that it has a large attack range? Oh, I sure have. That's right. 
battleships have an attack range of 2 to 6 spaces. Rockets have a range of 3 to 5. You may think it's only a little bigger, but there's quite a big difference. <laughs> I guess I didn't see that. You'll understand better as you start to use them more. Alright, that's all for battleships for now. On to submarines. Select this one, please. You got it. Submarines you direct fire to engage the enemy. They can only fire on other naval units. I think this unit should do for now. Fire! Yeah, okay. There you go. Oh. Okay, that's cool. As you can see, subs can inflict heavy damage. Mm-hmm. Subs also have other distinct abilities, but I'll tell you about those later. Yeah, I would ask what it was. Anyway, you see a lot of the new units here, but this is the last one. The lander. Uh, okay, whatever. You remember APCs and transport copters, right? Oh, I sure do. Oh, hey, I was to ask you about that last episode. You use landers the same way. Like the others, they can attack. Yeah, I would have figured. Let's try this one out. First, select this infantry unit. Okay, there you go. Now just load this, that unit into the lander. Okay, load it. You loaded it. I sure did. <laughs> so landers and tea copters are basically the same. That's what you're thinking, right? Yeah, that's right. Actually, that's a big difference. Oh, what, what? You can load two ground units at the time onto a lander. Whoa, really? Yes, landers carry land units and cruisers carry copters. That's what I said, right? Well, you just said it now. Now, let's try to load a medium tank. Oh, okay, let's do that then. <laughs> Alright, load it. What do you think? Pretty handy, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is. But there's one thing you have to pay attention to. Uh, what's that then? On this map, you can only load units onto a... Onto a ladder at a shallow sh shore, yeah. Uh, eventually, you'll be able to do this in a port, but there aren't any here. Just be careful, because it's not like you could load just anywhere. Okay. Let's try to drop the troops. Move it here. Move it over here. Yeah, you got it. It is the same as oh, as loading units. You could only drop them at ports and shallow shorelines. Okay. This is the only place you can drop it. Do you know why? Uh, that's right. You can't drop it on top of enemy units. I think I would have figured that out myself, Dale. Thank you. Plus, they can't move on to mountains. Drop them here. Yeah, okay. Okay, now drop the other unit. There. You can only load and drop at ports and shallow shorelines. So pay attention to where you can drop when you're carrying two units. If you can just remember this, you'll have no trouble using landers. So, did you get all that? Uh, yes, I believe so. Yeah, that's a lot of information and it took... Oh, okay. There's one more thing I have to say about sea units in general. Oh, there's more! Ah! Uh, like air units, sea units can use fuel every day. Battleships, subs, cruisers, and landers. All use one unit of fuel per day. If they run out of fuel, they sink and you'll lose them. What? That doesn't make sense. How could they just sink if they don't have any fuel? Okay, whatever, I don't care. If you want to refuel them, select an APC and, su and choose supply. The same as with other units. To recover its HP, you need to move this unit to a port. Unfortunately, there aren't any ports nearby. Well, you can do as you like for the rest of the units. When you're done, click end. Oh man, Nail, you took up the whole episode. Oh well, uh, that's the end of episode 16. Stay tuned for episode 17 where we can actually do something now. This is Barry Guy 88 and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Alright then.